Welcome back to Trailer Trash Flips. My name is Mac and I buy things to sell on eBay and try to make a profit. But the key word there is actually selling things on eBay. And if you've seen any of my recent videos, you know my sales have been crazy slow, maybe somewhat due to the summer slowdown, but mainly because I haven't been listing. And I'm still having a problem buying a lot more items than what I'm selling. The only good point is I have a really big death pile to pick from. And hopefully at some point I can finally get through this death pile. But at the rate that I'm buying items, I don't see that happening for any time soon. But at least for me and in my opinion, I think that having a large death pile is not necessarily bad. Because I don't have a ton of money tied up into most of the items. Most of them are $1 items. So today is Monday and I only had five sales between Saturday and today, which it's almost two o'clock Monday. Actually, I had six sales. One of them came in early Saturday morning and I went ahead and shipped it out because I was going out Saturday morning to run some errands. It was a toothbrush and it wasn't anything special like an electric toothbrush, pretty much just a plain toothbrush. And the only reason that I had that was it was in fill a bag for $5 one day at the bin store. So I did get some lower priced items, but I didn't have but a few cents into that product and it sold for almost $7. So I went ahead and dropped that off Saturday morning, but the other five items that sold were fairly decent, at least decent for me. So I'm going to go pull those right now so I can get those packed. Okay. The first item is in the ugly cabinet and it is a LaAnge Hair Le Duo Styler Perler wand. And I think it's right here. And this sold for $46.71 plus shipping. Next item is an F4 here at the bottom. And it is, let's see. And it is One Planet Nutrition Nano EGCG. I think this is it. So just one, yeah. And this sold for $18.66 with free shipping. The next item is in a bin that I'm still working on, and it was the Abu Garcia Reel. It sold for $50.96 plus shipping. Okay, in F7 I sold a book. I think this is it. Understanding Business is sold for $33.96 plus shipping. And the final item is in my eBay room, and it is another one of these filter sets for Bissell which I've had these sitting I think since last year and I have not sold any of them and then over the last week I've had what three different sales for these kind of crazy but this sold for four dollars and 21 cents plus shipping so the book I know I bought for a dollar the real that's the one that I showed on a video or two back I guess I listed this too cheap I think I listed it for $63. Let me look real quick because I have a 15% off sale going on in my store and I tried to compensate by listing it at a proper price, but it did end up selling for $50.96, which is a little bit too cheap for this reel being that it's brand new in the box, but it is what it is and I didn't pay anything for that reel. It was actually free, so it's all profit. And these, of course, I bought a three-pack, either a three-pack or a four-pack of these filter sets. And I paid a dollar and I split them up. So I've ended up making a few dollars on these. And this EGCC, that was a $1 purchase. And this, I'm sure I'm butchering the name here, Lange, Lang, whatever it is. I actually got this for free. It's not brand new, but it's like brand new in the box. So I did list it as used, but... It was used like two times and I got it for free. So that's 40 something dollars profit on this. So not counting my toothbrush order Saturday morning, uh, a, really a total of six sales, but let's just not count the toothbrush and say a total of five sales over almost three days. Not good at all, but at least these sales were pretty good profit. So that brings my total for three days to $154.50, not counting the free shipping that I'm going to do on the NGCG stuff here or the whopping toothbrush order Saturday. 
So yeah, just over $150, probably about $150 after free shipping, not counting eBay fees. I think a much bigger issue than my low sales right now, which I know can be corrected by me listing more, is my running out of space issue. I think with the things that I brought in this weekend, I did go to uh, an estate sale Sunday, and I did go to the bin store Sunday. I didn't buy a lot but I did bring in some more items. So I'm now at the point where I don't have storage for it. Um, I do want to mention that in the last video, I, <laughs> I had very grand plans to try to list 100 items this weekend. And I fell short. I fell very, very short. Um, I listed about 13 items. Saturday, I did have errands to run. Um, I ended up cooking kind of a big supper that took up some time and I don't really have an excuse other than that although I did try to list I did spend some time on the phone and I did spend a little bit of time on my non eBay work so I did do other things I didn't just sit around the house and watch TV now Sunday I ended up sleeping pretty late and I did go to the bin store I went to the estate sale I went out to eat with my family so I really just didn't have time Sunday. I mean, I could have gotten up earlier and listed, but um, at some point I do have to catch up on sleep. And I do run a pretty heavy sleep deficit most of the time. So on the occasions that I can sleep late, which isn't very often, I do appreciate the extra rest that I can get. So back to the fact that I am now out of room. Earlier in the year, I had an idea to rent a mini storage. And I rented a 10 by 20. And what I wanted to do was start bringing over all my inventory, like the bins you see here in the back, I would start with A, B, C, and so on until all of that was cleared out. And then I would start on the bins that are labeled with already listed inventory in the rest of my house. And what I could do was when I bring an inventory that I buy to list, I could list however much I could get listed. And then when I go to pull orders three days a week, I could go to the mini storage and bring the items that I have listed, drop them off, and pick up the items that I need to fulfill my orders, bring them back home, and pack them up and send them out. Now in my head, that seemed to be a fairly simple thing to do. And I'm not really sure why it didn't work out in reality the way it did in my head, but it really became a nightmare with things in different places. and. It just didn't work out and I finally got frustrated with it I said you know I'll just deal with the fact that I don't have room at home for all this stuff and I'm just gonna make it work well I did make it work until now so I've got to do something I don't know what it is I don't know if it's gonna be a shed a mini storage um, I mean there's not a whole lot of other options out there so I've got to do something now my death pile items, I don't have a room just piled with stuff. Um, 90, probably 90% 90 of my death pile items are in totes. They're stacked up, kind of ready for me to go to whenever I need to pull out of it. And I even have most of my death pile broken down into what I call level one and level two items. Level one are the more expensive items and level two are the cheaper items. I do have a few boxes here and there of death pile items and I also have some shelves with death pile items on them. But they're not really the culprit. The real issue is from items that I already have listed and that I'm currently working on listing. If I were to get all those listed magically today, I don't have a place to put them. So I do need to figure something out. A shed would be the best way to go, but with the increase in building materials, they've, they're already higher than they used to be. Um, I can't just have just a shed. I have to insulate it, I have to wire it, I have to put an air conditioner in, I have to put lights. So I do have to do some finishing work. So by the time everything is said and done to get a proper size shed, I'm probably going to put $15,000 into it and that's with me doing all the work myself. So that's a big investment for a part-time eBay seller, especially with what you've seen I've been making right now. So I think the easiest short-term solution would be to go back with the mini storage and I will probably go I'm gonna to have to go with at least a 10 by 20 maybe a 10 by 25 and have to revisit my plan to keep most of my inventory off-site and although I've been 
significantly less busy lately. I was doing a lot more sales three months ago, four months ago, five months ago, six months ago. So during that time, I was packing orders almost every day, which meant instead of me going to the mini stores just three days a week like I was planning, I was having to go five days a week. And sometimes I would go to the mini stores and then I may get an order in later on that day and then I would need to go back. Now it's close to my house, that's not really a problem. And I do go out often enough to run errands, but it was really becoming a little bit overwhelming. So I kind of just got frustrated with the whole thing and said, I'm gonna bring everything back home. But at that time, I was not at the point that I'm at now with the amount of inventory that I have both listed and unlisted. So something has to be done. So that will probably be what I do for sure short term, maybe medium term, and then I can kind of figure out things from there. Okay, I've got my five orders packed up and I worked up a little sweat. You'll probably see it packing those orders because it is hot today. Um, we're supposed to be, our highs for the next week are supposed to be over 100 every day. And I'm actually in the south, and I know people in the southwest are dealing with high temperatures also. And our temperature here is not quite as high as out in the southwest right now, but we've got humidity here. We've got terrible humidity. So I was just looking up the weather, and right now it is 99, which is actually lower than it was because it was, my truck said it was 103 um, a couple hours ago. So right now it shows we're 99 degrees and that's probably only because it's partly cloudy, but it feels like 113 degrees. So it's uh, pretty, pretty rough out there. And as I've said before, my eBay room is hot. It's very hot in here. So here's a few of the items I found this weekend, which is really not all that much, but at the estate sale, which that estate sale I thought was kind of overpriced on most of their things but that's you know a lot of them are overpriced i found this uh casino rouge towel and i'm pretty sure it's been used but it what does it say baton rouge championships tournament now this probably is not worth all that much but it was only let's see it was 50 cents and it was half price day Sunday, so I paid 25 cents for it. And I figured someone who maybe worked there might would like to have it. Um, I don't think it's, I don't think Casino Rouge is even there anymore. I think it's, it's now a different name. I'm not sure, I don't go there, but um, I don't think they exist anymore. So someone may want something like this. And even if it doesn't sell, I've got a cheap towel for 25 cents. I found a few cookbooks at that estate sale and I paid a little bit more than I wanted for most of these. Like this one was $3, that one was three, this one was three. And of course I only paid $1.50 for them, but I did pay a little extra for these and they may be good. I may have to end up lotting these up. This one actually looks pretty good where I might want to keep that one for myself, but I have a ton of cookbooks and I really never look at them like I think I am. But there's also this Kenmore microwave cooking, Italian cooking, the Vidalia Onion Store recipe book. This one is from the front porch. Uh, it's from it's from Chef Williams of the Cajun Injector Company, I guess. So it's got injectable marinades in there. That's pretty cool. And this is just another one I picked up in case I need to lot some of these up. It's just between friends desserts and compliments of Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. Omaha, Nebraska. I've got the box cutter over it because there's someone's name and phone number on that book. But I didn't pay much for, I mean, I only paid a total of $12 for everything. And that includes the cookbooks and what I'm going to show you in a minute. But there's also this Florida Parishes Special Olympics, a taste of the Florida Parishes 2. So I guess there was one before this. And it looked pretty interesting. Um, so that's like a local baton rouge new orleans hammond type thing because i see they've got hammond right here so anyway this one i actually paid i think yeah it was eight dollars so i paid four dollars for it and i really had a a hard time buying this one i did not want to pay that i should have asked them if i could have paid less i, I didn't because i just brought all the cookbooks up there but anyway i think this one might be cool and 
it is in a little binder so someone may want to pay a little bit more for for something like that and the only other thing i bought from the estate sale was this remington clothes dryer and i really don't even know how this works i tried to comp it on ebay and i didn't see any any of them listed on ebay so i figured at least i would have the only one on there when i do list it when i first saw it i saw this and i know this might sound ridiculous but i didn't really know what like i didn't realize this was a fan but i was just now looking at it and i see that it has a little fan right here that you plug in i quickly opened the box whenever i saw it and it looked like all the ports were there but where was the price oh there it is so they wanted five dollars at the estate sale so that was 250 and i figured for that kind of money i could take a chance on it so the next items that i have are all from the bin store and it was four dollar day and oh someone had said something the other day about when i say bin store do i mean the goodwill bins no when i say bin store i'm talking about the amazon liquidation bins we don't have any um of the goodwill bin stores anywhere around i heard there was one about an hour maybe an hour hour and a half away in a town but it was really small and it's not like the ones that you see people out on youtube so i've never never went but we don't have any goodwill bins here we have a lot of goodwills but no goodwill bins so this i think is a computer monitor arm i didn't see any stickers on the box where i could scan it but it does not look like it was installed all the ports are still in the bag and sealed up so this should be a pretty nice little profit i found this h11 hipaa filter and these comp out on ebay for between 25 and 30 dollars free shipping and since i'm trying to get away from free shipping i'll probably list this for maybe $19.95 or something like that. But I did pay $4 for it, so there's still gonna be enough profit built in to make me happy. So this is a weed eater handle, so I guess it's not just for weed eaters, probably all string trimmers. And I really don't know why someone would use this, maybe if their handle broke off, but it looks like maybe, oh, I see. It's ergonomically comfortable, so okay that's what it is let's see they are $41.99 on Amazon so I think I can probably get maybe $25 or $30 for this open box I did take it out at the store to make sure it hadn't been used or anything and it hadn't so it's probably a $25 to $30 seller and the last item I have is a Tupperware cake holder I guess and no this did not come from the bin store this came from my ex-wife um, I don't know if she picked it up at a garage sale or Goodwill or what, but she got this for me. Now, they don't bring a ton of money. I've sold these before, but nonetheless, it's free to me, and there'll be a little profit on it. So if anyone has any ideas that I didn't think of about my lack of space situation, let me know in the comments. Um, I could definitely be missing something that's just not crossing my mind. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video.